You know, sometimes what we all do is we look at today and we say, well, you know, that's kind of the way it always was. That's not the case. Ideas that just a few years ago seemed radical and unattainable are now today widely supported and in fact some of them are being implemented as we speak. And I want you to appreciate what together we have accomplished. Don't take this for granted. Five years ago, not a long time ago, with a federal minimum wage of $7.25 an hour, a starvation wage. If five years ago, somebody here jumped up and they said, Bernie, you know, we gotta raise that minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour, person next to you would have said, you are nuts, you can't double the minimum wage at one time. Can't be done. In fact, three years ago, what the Democratic leadership was talking about was $10.10 an hour. That was then. Today, federal legislation for a $15 an hour minimum wage, which I introduced in the Senate a few weeks ago, now has, now has 31 co-sponsors in the Senate. Five co sponsors in the House of Representatives. And $15 an hour legislation is being passed by city councils and state legislatures all across America. It's my understanding is that right here in the state of Illinois, a $15 an hour minimum wage bill is on the governor's desk. need a raise. And what we are saying as loudly and clearly as we can is that if you work 40 or 50 hours a week, you should not be living in poverty. But it's not just the minimum wage and the fight for 15. I want you to think about this. Five years ago, if we were here, the majority political sentiment in this country among Republicans and many Democrats was that our trade policies were just great. What was the problem with NAFTA and PNTR with China or the TPP? So what if those trade policies cost us millions of decent jobs and drove us into a downward spiral, a race to the bottom. Our trade policies were great. That was five years ago. Today, the American people all across the political spectrum are saying that we need new trade agreements that work for workers, not just the CEOs of large corporations. And I want to thank all of you for creating the movement that defeated the Trans-Pacific Partnership. But it's not just trade that we've had an impact on. Today, the idea of a trillion dollar investment to create up to 15 million jobs, good paying jobs, by rebuilding our crumbling infrastructure is now widely accepted. Just 
Three years ago, not even five years ago, three years ago, I proposed a trillion dollar investment, got virtually no support, had to cut it in half. But today, all across the political spectrum, people understand that we need to repair our broken bridges, our roads, our water systems, our wastewater plants, our levees, our dams, our airports. We need to build affordable housing. Five years ago, you talked about paid family and medical leave. People didn't even know what you were talking about. But today, not only is support growing for paid family and medical leave, but the very radical concept that women in the year 2017 should not be paid 79 cents on the dollar, Woo! that we need equal pay for equal work, that's also Think about it, not a long time ago. Five years ago, there was almost no discussion about making public colleges and universities tuition free. Today, all across this country, people understand that in a highly competitive global economy, it is insane that hundreds of thousands of bright young people cannot afford to go to college, and that many of you have left school deeply, deeply in debt. And what we are seeing now in states and in communities all over this country, the movement toward making public colleges and universities tuition free. And let me tell you this, because I've introduced the legislation. Next fall, on college campuses all over this country. You're going to see young people stand up and tell the establishment we're not leaving school $100,000 a day. Five years ago, there was at that point widespread belief that the Affordable Care Act, so-called Obamacare, was about as far as we could go as a nation in health care. That's about it. Passed Obamacare, can't do any more. Today, as you know, that view is radically changing. Nurses, thank you. that there is something profoundly wrong when we remain the only major country on earth not to guarantee health care to all people as a right not a And there is also something profoundly wrong when millions of Americans cannot afford the prescription drugs that their doctors prescribe. And what the American people from coast to coast are catching on to is the function of health care is to provide quality care to all people, not to make billions in profits for the insurance company for the drug companies. here tonight. The California State Senate has passed senior power. 